Thank Him because He woke me up this morning and got me started on my way. And I'm glad to be a child of the King. Ain't you? Appreciate the Lord today. Appreciate Him for everything. Without Him, we can't do nothing. But He is still real and to save, heal, and deliver. Regardless of what we think or the way we try to do it, it won't work. But God, God, we've got to believe and trust in the Lord, don't we? That's you know, that's all God wants us to do is just believe and trust in Him. And say, God, here it is. You do what you got to do. You know, and God will do it for me. I mean, the devil may try, uh, try to destroy us. If it's in God's hand, the devil can't do nothing. You know, unless God gives you permission, that's the only way that the devil can do anything. Because uh, we can look about Job, you know, and how the Job uh, loved the Lord and the devil had to come to God to give permission to buy Job. Didn't he? But you know what? And God's treating it the same way today. He is the same God uh, to you and me as He was to Job. You know, the devil, he, he don't want us to uh, progress in God, but God said, if I be for you, who can be against you? You know, that's what the, we're going to have in mind. If God be for me, then who can be against me? You know, the world can be against you, but if God's for you, you're going to be an overcomer. I believe that, don't you? And I tell you, I love the Lord, and I don't know what I would do without Him, Sister Abby. I, I don't know. I would just lose my mind because, you know, that's what the devil would want us to do. That's what he tries to drive us to, uh, uh, to lose our mind. But you know what? I'm glad that Paul said, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. I tell you, I come to praise God today, don't you? I come to lift him up, Brother Robert, tell him that I love him no matter how, all the hell that's going on around us. Uh, we got to praise God anyhow. Hallelujah. I, I don't want God to look at me and say, uh, you have failed me, but you know what? Uh, it's easy to praise God when everything is going good. Uh, who can't praise God like that? Uh, but when the devil defying you, uh, buffing you, attacking your body with everything, uh, and your hands to you go up, uh, I believe that God is a rich and down of us, don't you? I, I love the Lord too. You love Him today. I, I give the Lord a great big hand. Today. We come to have church. I, but the devil don't want God's people to praise Him. I, I, but I come to praise Him, didn't you? I, I come to lift Him up. I didn't come I, to see who I could see. I didn't come I, to be looked at. But I come to lift up God. I, I tell the devil that I'm seeing on the winning side. Church, I, I, we need to just shake ourselves. I, I say, devil, you better get for being my God. I don't serve the devil. The devil has nothing I want. I see what I want in the book and that's where I'm going after me too. I appreciate the Lord. Give him another hand. Look at I told him for the devil to go ahead and preach today. But you know what? I don't want to displease God in no way. I don't. I don't want to displease you, Brother Lord. I love him. He's done too much for me. And and what we do, I know we don't uh, uh, work our way in any, but work, we got to have works, don't we? Amen. And I love the Lord. If you have your Bible, you want to read with me, let's go to Genesis chapter 25. This is a word that the Lord laid on my heart a few days ago. <clears throat> but I want us to go to Genesis chapter 5. And I'm just going to read a few scriptures. And we'll start at... Uh, verse 27, okay? Genesis 25 and verse 27. 25 or 25? Genesis 25. Did I say 5? I'm sorry. <laughs> Genesis 25. I couldn't only really see it. He glasses, I tell you. I'm going to have to get a stronger pair, I guess. 25 and 27. And the Bible says this. And the boy grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man, dwelling in tents. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison, but Rebekah loved Jacob. And Jacob sought pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage. For I am faint, therefore was his name called Eden. 
And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he sware unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Amen. Give the Lord a great big hand. What is the Lord? Hallelujah. But I want us to look at verse 33. And the Bible says, And Jacob said, Swear to me, swear to me this day. And he sware unto him. And this is where I want to preach. And he sold his birthright. Yes, he did. Lord, what a miserable man he was from our life. Amen. But I just want to preach to you just for a little while today on not for sale. Amen. I ain't for sale, are you? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. People are selling out on God every day for the flesh. You know, the flesh is our enemy. The flesh don't want us to, uh, to praise God. Brother Dale, we get work, we work, we get tired when church time comes around. Uh, the devil will make us sit, and first thing you know, uh, the, the church time is already started, and there you are sitting on the couch. Uh, and I know y'all been there, well, I have too, a many times. And, and seem like about 7 o'clock or 7 30, you go to feel them bad, you know, and you begin to get this on your mind. Lord, I, I wish I would have went to church, but now it's too late. You see, that's what the devil wants us to do because uh, uh, he knows that in the house of the Lord uh, is where we get our strength. He knows in the house of the Lord uh, is where we're going to get a word that we can stand uh, and say, Devil, I'm not for sale. Uh, but I believe today that we've got so many people uh, uh, that's a selling out on God. But I tell you, I, I don't want to sell out on my God. Do you? Uh, I know that we know the story about Jacob and Esau. Uh, and we know that Jacob, uh, uh, he, uh, he bought uh, uh, the, uh, the birthright of Esau because of Esau uh, uh, was a leader to the flesh. She said, I am about to die of the word. Uh, but this birthright ain't going to do me no good uh, uh, because I'm just about to uh, uh, depart this life. But you know what? Uh, uh, the devil knows how to do it, don't he? Uh, uh, the devil knows how to attack us. Uh, uh, he knows where to work. Uh, uh, the devil don't come to uh, try to get me down, brother. Uh, uh, Collins, through you. Uh, he comes to my own flesh. Uh, uh, my own flesh is my enemy against God. Uh, the church today, I believe, uh, uh, that the devil's used a many a many uh, a good saint that started out for God. Uh, that had a desire uh, uh, to praise God that loved him, that worship him, uh, that praised him, that was faithful to the house of God, uh, faithful to their prior life. Uh, but the flesh kind of got in the way uh, and they showed him out because of uh, the flesh church tonight. Uh, the Bible tells you and me uh, that the flesh is our enemy against God. Uh, the spirit wars against the flesh uh, and the flesh against the spirit. Uh, I'm trying to stick with me a little while uh, and we'll get going. Uh, but I want the devil to know one thing. Uh, 
Esau uh, sold his birthright uh, because of his flesh. And we can go on and read the story how that uh, he kind of got angry at Jacob. Uh, and all Jacob done uh, uh, was just bought uh, uh, what was presented to him to sell out. Uh, I can read the word, a uh, uh, word Jacob. Uh, and they saw uh, uh, what they contained over the birthright. Uh, uh, one said to the other, uh, I'll give you my birthright uh, uh, to soon the flesh. A uh, church listen to me today. Uh, uh, we was lost in Adam. Uh,
that everything is for sale. Everything's got a price on it. These people sell him out for a car. These people sell him out for homes. They're selling him out for their job. Uh, they're selling him out for everything. Uh, but I thank him that he's given me a vision. Uh, that if I'm being led by the Spirit, uh, I'm not going to sell out to the devil. Uh, the church listen to me. Uh, the Bible teaches you and I uh, how that God loved us. Uh, that he went all the way to the cross at Calvary. Uh, that the devil tried every way uh, to get the devil to uh, try to get God uh, to sell me and you out. Uh, but I thank him. Uh, for not selling me out. I want my flesh to know that God is going to help us every one. If we want to make it, we can make a church. Don't let the devil cause you to sell out your birthright. We ain't got the one chance. We better make sure that we're going to ride when death comes to knock on. I thank him because I love him because he loved me first. We were not for sale. Sell them out. 
but they hear the voice of God. And they didn't go back and tell the devil where he was at. But church, we can't tell the devil nothing. And if you tell the devil what you've got on your mind, he's going to try to trick you up. But believe and don't be for sale. Oh, yes. <laughs> I ain't for sale, are you? But the, but the devil there ain't nothing like it to me. I love my family. I love my friends. But I'll fail you. I'll cause you to be down in the dump from time to time. But there's a man called Jesus. He'll never leave you broke. He'll never leave you disgusted. He'll never leave you in the dust. If God brought you to the storm, He's going to take you through the storm. But the devil's trying to get us to sell him out. A sister Mary and the three Hebrew children would have sold him out. They would have burned in hell today. But thank God. They said, okay, we're not going to bow down. Go around, I'm talking to 
talking to thee. If we go around all the time and say, I don't know what I'm going to do. We need to tell the devil, the devil I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy me a place and I'm going to begin to call for all the name. That's about every name. And the devil's going to go. Brother Lee, I'm not for sale you. And I thank my God. If my flesh comes to you, see, I'm going to take it. And I'm going to take it to an order. And I'm going to say, flesh, right here is where you get off. Just the devil wants you allowed to sell our birthright. But thank God, I know what I'm going to take to make it. we got to get in that book. I can't depend on Brother Dale to tell me what I'm going to do. The world, if I turn the TVs on, and they'll listen to these false prophets, I'll just tell them, I'll just send me your money, and you'll be all right. And they'll send him out. A church, listen, and God wants you to, to have a relationship with him, and him only. And when we can get that relationship, we got power with God. But we ain't going to be so easy to sell him out. Ain't for sale. Esau sold his birthright out because of the flesh that you land. And I tell you, flesh is my your number one enemy. The flesh don't want us to pray. It don't want us to, uh, to read the Bible. It don't want us to be in the house of God. And if we're not very careful, we'll be a link to the flesh. But my Bible tells me all that's in the world is the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. It's not all the Father, but it's all the world. We sometimes, we people that show that on God. You think they're happy? No, sir. They're the most fearful people ever was. Their life is miserable. They're hateful. All they talk about is the taking a gun, killing somebody or themselves. Why? Because at one time they used to have the love of God. They call their flesh. They call them to lead the church. You don't have to believe that way. You don't have to live that way. The music too loud. The preacher preaches too long. The devil trying to get you to sell your birthright. We need to be in the house of God and listen to the word of God. But it's all right. But to go down to the honky tonk, down to the ball game, and scream and holler. Hey, Rock, you lost your mind. That's all right with the flesh. But God is a sin. Watch your own. I don't hear you praying. I don't hear you. I'm praising my name. The church the devil. He wants to silence you and me. So that we'll sell out on God. I come to lift him up in you. I come to praise my God. Without him, I can't make it. Without him, I'm going to end up lost. But I want the devil to know I may not be upon the mountain, but I'm a praise of God anyhow. I may be in the valley. I'm going to stay and praise God. I may not feel a chill, but I'm going to stay and praise God. I'm not for sale. I ain't building upon just anything. I'm a building upon the Word of God. I know that it's going to stand when the world is going down. The Word will not break. I'm not for sale. Look over somebody and say, I'm not for sale. <laughs> I ain't for sale, are you? I may not have two nickels to run together, but I'm not for sale. They say, yeah, everything's got a price on it. I yell it back to you, but not to me. My God is not for sale. The gold and the silver is not going to cause me just for a little short season to sell out my God. Could you imagine Esau, how more, how miserable he was when he sold his birthright. He got upset. He sent out to kill his brother. They called him his sledge. Brother Neil, if I offer you to sell you, my be and you pay me what I want for it. And that's not your fault. It's my own fault that I sold it. I tell you, God, He wants you and I to hold on to it. 
of believing and trusting that the day will know that we're not for sale. I'm not for sale. We're going to stand on the word of God. When the apostles was beaten, they were strapped. They were stoned. They were done like a dog. Because the devil tried to get them to sell out the blood of Jesus. But I read in the word what they said. I'm glad that I was kept worthy of the son of a boy's name. And now today, we're no one to be persecuted because of his name. I'm going to tell you something. To stand with that name, you're going to be had. They're going to make you feel like you're about that big. They're going to make you feel like that you are nothing. But I thank God I know where I stand. Don't you? I don't have to have the preacher to come and pat me on the back and tell me where I stand at in God. And when you know exactly where you stand, I know where I stand. I do know one thing. I'm not going to sell him out on you. They will beat and look for the name of Jesus Christ. But they said, I'm glad. I was kind of worried to suffer a boy's name. Amen. Nowadays, they don't want no part of Jesus. The name of Jesus, you're going to be persecuted over. You're going to be reproached. You're going to be hated. You're going to be delivered. They're going to make you think. I try to make you think that you are dead wrong and what you believe. But if we got the word of God, then we can look the devil with it. We need to jump out the word. I say, devil, you need red. God, he's on my side. The world can be against me. But if God be for us, they ain't no weapon. The U.S. military can come against you. But if the hand of God is upon you, and you believe in the word of God, and God, he can swallow him up. The church, we got to know that we ain't going to sell him out. If you're double-minded, you will sure sell him out. But you better know that you're pounded upon the rock. When the storms come and the winds blow, the trials and the storms, guess what? When the smoke clears, you're going to still be a standard. But if you build upon the doctrines of men and you listen to the, to the false prophets, when the storm comes, guess what? You're going to fall. You'll never be able to stand. But I'll tell you, we better know where we stand at with God. Because in the day of coming, we better know that we've got the right thing that's going to take us through. Brother Lee, silver and gold cannot buy this thing. He cannot. They done tried it. It will never work. They sold him out for the silver and the gold. When Ananias and Sapphire come up to the man of God, and now these two right here, they had the real thing, Sister Randa, because we think that we will fall. I tell you, we'll fall every one of us will. If we don't have God to hold our hand, I need him more every day. I can't make it without him. And the Bible says that Ananias and Sapphire, when Ananias come up to the man of God, they were supposed to soak their possession and brought it and laid it at the man of God's feet. And the Bible says that they asked him, did you sell for so much? And he said, yeah. And the Bible says that he dropped down dead right there at their feet. And just a little while later, guess what? Here come his wife. And they told her, and said the one and carried your husband out is the way to carry you out. And the Bible said that she dropped dead. What happened? And they sold him out just for a little bit. A little bit will cost you a lot in the end. But we better know that we're not going to sell him out. They sold him out. See, God knows everything. He knows if we're real. He knows if we're false. He knows it all. Sister Lynn, I'm not you. I want God to check me. I don't want to miss heaven. We can't afford to miss heaven for the flesh. The church, the devil tried every way in the world to get a little Joseph to sell his God out. But Joseph went to pure hell. But he held on to God. And God used it. God blessed him. And the devil could not get to. Little pillow and to sell out to the devil. 
The devil tries hard. Mm -hmm. Sister Abby, sometimes we wonder why we go through things. It's because the devil trying to get us to sell our God out. He's selling, uh, if you just stay home, uh, tonight everything will be all right. Uh, but guess what? Tomorrow night, uh, he's going to be back again. Uh, trying to get you to stay home again. Uh, he's going to tell you uh, that you need to be tired. Uh, you don't have to leave your work. Uh, you need to be wise. Uh, how do I know? Uh, it's happened to me. Uh, but I pray my God. Uh, that God said, uh, don't sell me out. Uh, I love you. Uh, I'll take you to the start. Uh, Let him know that we're not for sale. They sold him out, Brother Rob, for jobs. I was hearing him say, get right into prayer line. God, I need this job. So when the church prayed that I get this job, I see the devil ain't done. He's pretty sick and what he does. And the buying and they get in there in that prayer line. Yeah, God said He wants us to prosper, be in health, even as our soul prosper. And God wants us to have good things here in this life. But God does not intend for our possession to cause us to sell Him out. And Brother Rob, I go to live a young girl on the side of the mountain in a rock cliff and make it to heaven and live on a mansion and end up in hell. But they'll get in prayer line and they'll pray, give me this job. And they're faithful to the church. And they're there every church night and because and they love the Lord. And the devil seen the desire that they had for God. He knew that God would have taken them somewhere. But here he comes and he presents them with a better job. More money. Money's always the problem. We've got to have it. But the love of it is the root of all evil. And God don't want us to love nothing more than him. The first thing you know, they get this job. And then here it comes. A church now. Where they at? They're on their job of working. Here they drift in once a month. And you begin to sin. Going backwards and staying all forward. Tell me that was a blessing. No sir. And God don't call blessings. A son that's going to pull us away from him. No sir. Oh, we got to be wise. Oh, we got to understand. Oh, the devil's trying to get us. The sin our birthright. But that job calls them to backslide on God. And they died they went to a burning hell. And there wasn't God. No sir. And the devil wants you and I to believe and that God is a blessing us with everything. The devil presents some things to us. Amen. I've seen it happen time and time again, Sister Joyce. And we're called the blessing of God. The devil ain't done. He's sick. He'll send us up, brother, to get us to fall away from God. He don't want us to be dedicated to the church. He don't want us to be dedicated to our prayer life. He don't want us to be dedicated to the Word of God. But listen to me. God is telling us today, don't sell me out. Hold on. I'm going to bring you through. We got victory waiting on the other side. I believe today we're living in a town. A word they said in the Bible that they hung their hearts in the willows. We need to go back to the desert and begin to get what we live. The devil don't want us to pray. He don't want us to sing to God. He wants you to sell out everything that God is giving you. But I'm not for sale or you. I'm not for sale. The devil cannot persuade me to sell my salvation for the filthy dollar. I'm not for sale for the rock. We're going to take our stand against the powers of hell and say, devil, I'm not for sale. And God will want you. And God will bless us. And God will heal us. He will deliver our children. We're going to stay faithful to God. And they may look right. They're turning every time. But we got to hold on to God. We're going to stay faithful to God. All things. It's possible to him that believe. I pray that God will get a hold of them, save them, wash them in his blood, put a fire in their life. I can't 
may give up. If I give up, they may land up in hell. But church, listen to me. Hold on to God. And don't sell what you've got out for, for the devil. We can read all through the Word of God. People will be in use of God. And the devil will come along. And because of the things they went through, they sold him out. Oh, the devil wants you and I to sell him out to. And that's why he does it the way that he does. But I've got news for him. I'm going to stand on the Word of God. I'm going to obey my God. And the devil may try to shut us up. The church, we can't let him shut us up. If you'll take your testimony, if you'll take your song, and you'll sell out to the devil. We ain't in a contest. Who can sing the best? We ain't in a contest. Who can give the best testimony? We all come of the praising, of the worshiping, and then enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. And Brother Robert, I want to praise him with all hell. And the standing against me, I'm not for sale, devil. I'm going to have to be a chill of the praising. No, sir. I'm going to have to be a message in my heart, a burden in my spirit. For sale are you? Amen. I'm not for sale, Sister Joyce. I may not live in a mansion, but I'm not for sale. I may not be driving a Cadillac, but I'm not for sale. I may not have the highest paying job, but I'm not for sale, devil. I look forward to being in the house of God. I look forward to do something for God. I read in the Word of what He done for me. That kind of stirs me up. Hey God, what can I do? What can I do for you? That's the attitude we ought to have when we come to those doors. Hey God, what would you have me to do? We want God to bless us. We love shouting and dancing in the Holy Ghost. But we'll sit there and we'll let the devil tell us to let somebody else get the wagon to roll. <laughs> when we are to be the one getting it going, aren't we? It's easy to warm my fire somebody else's building, but build your own fire. That's what we need to do is build our own fire. And say, devil, I'm going to build my own fire. And Brother Robert, I can't depend on you to keep me stirred up. I've got to stir myself up when I'm in Chapmanville. And then when I get out to the house of God, I can be used to God. Oh, my God is real. My God is real. I don't know how you take your God, but my God is real. My God is alive. And he's coming back after a live church. He's coming back after a dead, a dried up, a popped up by the roots church. I'm telling you, if the word and the spirit of God don't excite you, you've been bad trouble. We we better be a prayer. That's God to help us to be stirred up in the Holy Ghost. We need to be stirred more today than ever was. We need this thing to get a hold of us and shake us. A good shout will do us all a little good. A whole Paul shook the dead wall right back into the fire. But we're afraid to move. We're afraid that we may mess our hair up. We're afraid that we may sweat a little bit. But I tell you what, I'm not for sale. They can call me a holy roar. Or whatever they want to call me. I go to roll in the heaven. And I will walk in the hell one year. I'm not for sale, devil. I may not feel God every day. But I know I'm not. I hear him say, it's time to pray. It's time to go to your calls and begin to pray. I hear him say, it's time to read the word. I've got something I want to give you. I hear him say, it's church time. And you better go and get ready. Just today, we better act like we love God. Quit pretending. 
and God in what you and I to love it from the bottom of our heart anybody can love it with the lift and God said that he loved the sister Mary and he put it on the cross at Calvary when we could go to the house of God feel right that we are nobody that's when God can use us that's when we need to be in the house of God but if we don't feel good we'll stay home and the devil to whoop us up one side and down the other. I know that there's time that you can't be here. I'm not saying that. There's time that we can't be here. But I want the devil to know that my heart's are praying for the little church. And God, you bless them. I know that you're with them. But I thank God every chance God gives. I'm going to be in the house of God. I ain't for sale. The devil used to trick one time to cause me to lose my desire for God. To get too tired to stay home like a dummy. I fell for it. The first thing you know, guess what? I didn't have a desire no more. I want to look at the wrong way. I tell you, that's how we learn the things that we go through. We're blessed today, church, to be in the house of God. You might think, oh, I just come because that's my home church. You better thank God that the dead way got you somewhere bound up, laying under a bridge, thinking about blowing your brains out. We're blessed to be in the house of God. I'm not for sale on you. I believe in my God more than I do anything. I love my wife. I do anything that she wants me to do if I can. I do anything for her. But I love my God more than anything in my life. My God is real. My God is a fixing to come back to get us. We better be ready. We better not sell him out. Tomorrow you may need him. And next week you may need him. And you better hold on to what you got. If you got a little bit, keep working. The first thing you know, and you're going to have more. And then you know what to do with. And God is real church. And He wants you and I to love Him from the bottom of our heart. He wants you and I to put everything that we got into Him. And when I stand before you and preach the word of God, I give it all I got. But because the devil, he will give you everything that he got. And they get you to sell out on it. But we better hold on to what we got. And say, God, I'm a going to with this. I ain't for sale, are you? I'm not for sale, Sister Joyce. I know sometimes that we all have battles and trials. We all have storms. We all go through things. But listen to me. What you're going through is making you stronger. There may be somebody down the road that you can get a hand, a hand helping hand to and say, I know what you're going through. If we never do go do nothing, how are we going to help somebody that needs it? Oh, we got to go through things. Oh, we got to go through them. Do you hear me? Oh, we got to go through them. Oh, we can't go up to them and turn around and go back. Oh, sometime or another, you're going to face the same thing again. So buckle up and say, God, help me to hold on and take me to the storm. When the children of Israel come up against the Red Sea, they called that it was over. But thank God, he said, Moses stretched you right out over the sea. Thank God, he didn't take them around. He didn't take them under. He didn't take them over. But he took them through. He took them dead through. A church today, hold on. Thank God for taking us through. But we got to hold on and say, Devil, I'm not for sale. I ain't for sale, are you? Amen. All throughout the Word of God, we can see where people sold Him out because of the flesh. Amen. The flesh, Brother Lee, is our enemy. Amen. It will cause us to sell Him out quicker than anything. It will cause us not to love Him, not to praise Him, not to worship Him. It will cause us to feel like we're a nobody. Well, we ain't a nobody, but the blood of Jesus made us somebody else, did That's what we need to tell the devil. The devil, you're right. For one time, you're right. I used to be a nobody, but thank God, I'm a somebody now. I'm the devil's enemy. I'm the one that was fed. 
of the world. Oh, Jesus Christ, his mind will take it out of here. Oh, we better be in the blood of Jesus. That's why the devil fights us the way he does. Because of who we believe in. Trust Jesus. I ain't for sale, are you? No, sir, I'm not for sale. I've done search the book, and I know who my God is, don't you? I don't have to have a, a six-foot icicle preacher to tell me uh, what I'm going to have to make. Uh, that's what's wrong. Uh, we need to get in the book and find a verse uh, so that we can stand uh, against the powers of hell. Uh, Sister Murray, if you don't know your God, uh, the devil will reappear. Uh, but if we know our God, uh, we shall be strong uh, and do exploits. Uh, that's what the Bible says. He can be strong in the Lord. And David trusted in God. And the devil tried to get David and to sell him out from Bathsheba. He sure did. And the devil almost had Samson to sell his God out. But thank God Samson realized, hey, this is the devil. And Samson began to pray. He began to get back to God. And the devil almost persuaded Samson to sell out God. Read the Bible. Read about David. Read about him. It's in the book. Saul sold him out because of the people. Sister Joyce and Brother Dale came preach you and I the word of God pray run to us off. We need to find an altar somewhere. Let's say God help me and to have the stick of power. That's what God wants. And God ain't a want a bunch of cowards in his army. We gotta stand on ground against the devil. A sense to realize that the devil has caused him to sell out on God. But he began to pray to see God. And God brought him back. And he used him great. And God will use you. Just hold on. Don't sell out to the devil. The devil may have you back up in the corner. But keep praying. And keep seeking God. And God's going to bring you out. And he's going to stick you right in the face of the devil. And say, here they are. And that's what he did to Job. When the devil tried to get Job to sell out on God. And Job said, blessed is the name of the Lord. And they can I come into this world. And they can I go to leave. Your gold and silver is not going to go with you, church. But the only thing that's going to matter is being born again of the water and of the spirit. That's what's going to take. And that's what we better have when this whole world comes to an end to us. That's what it's going to take, Sister Ed. I'm for sale. I ain't for sale, are you? The devil may not want the biggest majority of the church to speak in tongues, but God give it to me. I pour it out on me, God. And that's the real thing to come back on the day of Pentecost. And then come back and speak in tongues. And they'll say, I've caught the Holy Ghost. And they never spoke in tongues. That's a lie from the pit of hell. My Bible says that if you begin to speak, if you begin to speak in other tongues, that's God. And begin to give it to them. When you feel it, you don't have to have a preacher to tell you that you've got it. You don't have to have the devil to tell you that you've got it. He will know that you've got it. He will know that you've got the real thing. They the pain so close to the real thing. And the world's wrapped up in it. But they say they caught it. But they never spoke in tongues. Brother Robert, my Bible says that we will speak. I thank God for the tongue talking. The devil's talking with power of God. That's what a word can need. It needs to be a part again of the water. Once you get a hold of it, and you'll know if you don't have it, how will you know? <coughs> you'll be miserable. <coughs> you'll be a searching for peace. You'll be searching for joy. You'll be a searching for it. Because you know.
know what it's like to have it. I know what it's like to have it. And I know what it's like to lose it. That's why I'm not for sale. I've got a system to have it. I'm not going to let it go. I'm going to stand it. If the world goes down, I'm going to see it be a standing ain't you. Brother Lee, if everybody comes against us, we're going to know that we still got the goods. The world will not know it. Because of this false antichrist spirit in the land today is telling the devil we'll have to have it, Sister Lana. You don't have to have that. And we went out with the apostles. That's a lie from the pits of hell. And the Bible says, He told us to repent and be baptized, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. But now they're saying, Speak after me. Just speak what I tell you, and then it'll be alright. That's what the devil's just sitting about. But I thank God when they get down in you here. We need to say, Get out of here, devil. I'm going to get the real thing. I'm just to the real thing. I will take you out to the other side. I think the real thing with your buds. I'm not to sell our better dry. But I think the boss that will get you down the road and cause you to sell out on God. But I'm not for sale there for you. Somebody get a song. I ain't for sale for you. My God is real. My God is able to keep us. Brother Death, Robert. They sell him out for everything today. Yes. Judas sold him out for what? 30 pieces of silver? Yes. Was it 30 pieces of silver? Yes. And guess what he done? Uh, when he realized that he sold his birthright, uh, the devil took him out uh, and caused him uh, uh, to die out in the field. Uh, see what the devil will do? Uh, he'll tell you to sell your birthright. Uh, and then the next thing you know, uh, they some spirits got a hold of you. Uh, that's going to destroy your life. Uh, uh, read about Saul. Uh, uh, Saul sold him out. Uh, and they were the suicide spirit. Uh, come and got a hold of him. Uh, and it cost him his life. Uh, tell me the devil uh, is out for you. He's out to get you. He's out to take your joy. He's out to take our love. He's out to take our peace. But I'm not for sale. And there will not never be another chill bar. As long as I've got the word. And I'm going to live by the word of God. And that heaven's going to be my home. I don't know about you. But I'm not for sale or you. Amen.